Are you a CO2 laser user and you're wanting to figure out on how to set up your rotary? Well, this video is the complete DIY, basic step-by-step -step instructional video on how to set up a rotary so you can make your Yeti turn into this. On today's video, I'm gonna be using the Monport 60 watt laser. The bed is 28 inches by 20 inches. And the first step is to lower your bed all the way down and take out the honeycomb tray or the drop tray. Um, I saw this on Ben Meyer's video is if you unscrew this with the Allen key, take it off, you can actually then use your drill to lower it faster if you have the manual bed. The next step is to bring your gantry slowly so then you don't activate the, the motors or the computers inside. And on the back corner is your Y cable. You're going to want to unplug that. And to unplug it, you just screw it and then pop it out. Now that the Y cable port is unscrewed, you can then move your gantry back a little bit to place in your rotary. I got my rotary on Amazon. It is a Chinese brand rotary. Um, I'll link it in the description below. The only reason why I bought it is because Ben Myers bought it. And then uh, I set up the exact same way that he set it up. And it's cheaper and it actually has worked really well. I've, uh, I've done 50 of these Yeti so far. When you receive it in the mail, it's gonna have a male end. Um, so you just unscrew this, you take off the male end and then that exposes the female end. We then use the female end, put it underneath the X gantry, and you plug it in. Since this port is just a generic four pin port, it doesn't matter which way you turn it in, it just pops right in on the four connectors on the male end. Now that you have everything plugged in, you can go ahead and start up your laser. So it's going to auto home to the right, but on the Y gantry, since we disabled that, it won't go back. So now it's just right here. So I primarily only sell the 20 ounce Yeti cups, so I actually have the rotary all level and set up right now. But the way to level it is that you place any of any cup that you want, um, and right here is to unloosen it and then this is raises or lowers the wheel because you want the uh, cup to be level and flat with the X gantry. So now that it's all flat and level we're going to take off the wrapping, wipe it, and then I always take off the lid because this could affect uh, it when it spins around. And then right here, there's like a little lip. Ooh, that's how disgusting that is. I've got to clean it. Uh, right here, you place your cup on it, and then you push it against it, because if you don't, it could potentially roll the cup forward or backwards. So I always just um, push it up against this little black wall. I'm just gonna clean this gantry right now, just because that bothers me. Since 99% of the tumblers that I do is just single-sided, what I've done is that I've created this little box and that is the exact width of the tumbler. And then I've imported my logo. So what I do is I import the logo, make it nice and centered, and then I move it up or down depending on where my client wants it on the tumbler. Now to enable your rotary, you go to laser tools and you go to rotary setup. I'm currently operating on Lightburn 1.2.01. I definitely do need to do the update, but this holiday season, I don't want to do an update and have something go wrong. The type of rotary device is kind of crucial here. So the one that I have is just a hot dog roller or just a roller. You can get the chuck, um, but since this is my first rotary, I just went with the easiest route. Um, so set up the roller, you enable the rotary, and then you're gonna to wanna to calculate 
on how many steps per rotation that is and the roller diameter and then the object diameter. So the roller diameter is simply these two wheels right here. So you're gonna to wanna to measure that. And I'm gonna apologize in advance. I have to turn on the laser itself. All right, I really hope that you can hear me. If not, you're gonna hear a weird voiceover. So the steps per rotation, what Ben Myers found out is that it is exactly 2,800. Um, I didn't have to uh, do a, a different number than him just because it's set up by the factory like that. My roller diameter for that exact same one is 67.310 millimeters. And then the object diameter for this Yeti is 87.5. So you just measure the diameter of this. You're then gonna wanna have you go ahead and click on enable rotary and click on okay. Oh, to test it out, you can move your X and Y, so right here, and then when you move it on the up arrow, or down arrow, your cup should turn. Perfect. Now what's going to happen is that your normal manufacturer settings makes the Y uh, gantry, gantry move faster than what the roller will do. So if I hold it down, you're going to notice that the cup is going to spin and fall off the rollers. See it move fast. You're not going to want to have that happen, so you're going to have to go back into Lightburn and adjust the Y um, settings so then it doesn't spin the cup off the rollers. To do that, you go up to Edit and go to Machine Settings. It's going to read the controller. Oh, hold on. I'll have to relaunch Lightburn. Sometimes that does happen, which is fine. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the manufacturer settings right off the controller. And what I'd recommend is take a screenshot or take a photo of this just because you're gonna want to um, revert these back uh, when you just do your normal laser engraving. Um, or else if you don't, it's your Y gantry is gonna move super, super, super slow. So for your idle speed, it's currently set at 150. I actually will bring that down to only 20. And then your Y start speed, you're right at 15. And then your Y acceleration, you can actually bring that down to 20 as well. After you do that, uh, you simply just hit right. And that will write the, the settings over to the controller. Now, uh, when you move your Y gantry, it's gonna move the Y roller slow. Now that you have light burn all set up, you are now ready to start engraving. Make sure that everything is set. I always have the lasered Yeti up. Bring over the X gantry, and I personally just put the red dot right here, right there. And make sure that it is straight with the E and the T. This is just my personal preference to make sure that the laser is going to engrave it directly in the middle. You go to your job origin and you put it right there. So now the laser head is technically in the middle of the tumbler and it's going to start engraving on the bottom and work its way up. So this is what it's going to look like. You hit play and essentially the roller is spinning it this way while the X gantry goes this way. So these settings, what works best for me is 200 speed, 32% power, which I can probably lower that just a little bit now that I've cleaned my mirrors. So I'll do 2750. Now, you're always gonna wanna make tests and do tests and do even more tests, just because these Yeti cups, they cost 35 bucks each and you don't wanna screw them up. So what you can do is apply painter's tape.
I just like to double so then the 5% power doesn't go through the tape and etch it. I said the painter's tape is just to make sure uh, everything is set up correctly before you start doing a batch of them. Then you bring out your leveling or your spacer block. I like to space it right in the middle of the design. Then go over to my controller, hit reset, and I hit escape a bunch of times. So now this is technically zero, zero, which right on your light burn is your zero, zero. Go to your light burn, make sure your power is only set at like 7.5. The minimum this is gonna do is about 10 per the controller, because that's the minimum I can go down to. Take it out and look how perfect this logo came out on the 3M tape. Took the tape off and now it's go time for the real deal. And here I'm using LA Totally Awesome. I did get this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below as well. Basically, it's just a degreaser cleaner. Spray it on, and what it basically does is just cleans the black etching marks left by the laser dust. Thank you very much for watching. This is the final photo that I sent over to my client. I did forget to mention that the DPI that I like to set it at is 500. Um, if this helped you out, definitely give me a like, comment, any questions that you have down below. I'll definitely uh, answer them. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching again and have a great day.